Hey, today we're going to talk about a few simple tools and tricks of photography that you can use to make your videos look better. So the first trick we're going to talk about is the rule of thirds. This is a very basic photography concept. If you've ever taken a photography class, you've probably learned about it. If you haven't, you're about to. Rule of thirds is really simple. There's a grid, right? So I'm currently in the middle third. If I were to go right here, I will be in the, what is that, the right third? <laughs> right here is the middle, and over here is the left third. So psychologically, different things happen to our brains when we see a person on one of these thirds in an image. If I'm centered in an image, it usually means it's kind of neutral ground. A centered image is really good for conveying a neutral message. Think about newscasters or uh, something very professional and simple. Uh, we're not trying to establish power or dominance or anything particular. It's just all about this is the message, I am the messenger, we're here. Psychologically, that's what happens. Uh, it's just very subconscious level stuff. So if you're just all about conveying a simple, clear message from a place of neutral authority, being centered in your image is a really good idea. Being on the right hand side of the frame conveys a whole different message. I don't want to paint this as a negative or something that you shouldn't do because again, this is just very subconscious kind of level stuff. But oftentimes when a person is on the right side of an image, it feels weaker. It feels like there's something leading up to them and it's less of a power position versus over here, the left side of the image creates more of a position of authority. I didn't make these rules up. This is what I learned in film school. Take it or leave it for what it's worth. But the left side of the image often is the position of authority. You'll see a lot of the time uh, in an interview setting where we have maybe Oprah and her guest. Uh, Oprah will be positioned on the left side, or I guess in some of her super soul conversations, she'll put her guest in the left side, and then she will go to the right side to be more in that that passive kind of position, the listener, and she she elevates her guest in doing that. Again, this is all very subconscious level stuff, uh, but this is some information for you to use when you're considering what ways you want to frame your images and how you might be perceived because of that. The next tool we're gonna talk about is lighting ratios. Lighting is everything in video. It matters way less what kind of camera you're shooting on and way more what kind of lighting scenario you have. The light not only conveys whether or not something feels professional, but there are a lot of different types of lighting that convey different kinds of messages. So a lighting ratio is basically just talking about uh, the amount of shadow that exists within your image. Our videos, we often do a very flat kind of light. We want it to be very commercial, we want it to be very open, because again, we're not trying to convey some kind of emotional message with the lighting necessarily. We want the information to come across, we want the messenger to be seen and heard, and we want to come across as professional and poised. So a lighting ratio like this one is a clean one-to-one -one kind of ratio. This kind of lighting scenario is a whole different vibe. It's moody, it's dynamic, the lighting is a little harsh on my face, it's creating contrast. What is that saying? What is that conveying? This is more of like an eight to one kind of lighting ratio. There are a lot of great videos on YouTube that can describe in depth what the ratios are. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight and point out that you have opportunity to play with different ratios that are available to you in order to set the mood and the tone of what you're going for. The third principle of photography that you can use in your considerations when you're making content is leading lines. If you're here on YouTube or any social media platform to offer a message, the point is to get the message across. So psychologically, we want to use all these different tools to direct people's focus in to you. If you're looking at this image that we've set up here, we have some lines. We have the line of this wall back here. We have the lines of the bar, all of that stuff. And there's, there's 
a little bit of a neutral kind of directive that's going in here. Here are some other options for framing that can help you use leading lines to direct the viewer in to hone in on your message. In this scenario, we've created kind of a V shape. We're using the blinds, we're using the countertop, and by centering it up and creating this kind of visual V, we're directing the viewer right into a meh the center of attention. Using the corners of the room is a subtle and attractive way to direct people to hone in on the message. Yes! This is an extreme example of the way you can use lines within an image to really direct the focus. Who knows, maybe you wanna go extreme. Something like this could be really fun if your uh, YouTube channel is all about uh, being a shuffleboard master. This is an example of using the natural leading lines that exist within a space to direct the viewer's eye directly into the subject. So there we have it. There are three simple photography techniques that you can think about and apply to your videos. Using the rule of thirds, you can consider how the framing affects the viewer's perception of your subject. By considering lighting and different lighting ratios, you can create different kinds of emotional effects in your videos. And by using leading lines, you can direct your viewer's attention right into the subject. If you're looking for more tips and tricks on how to build your YouTube channel, we have a free mini course that you can find in the description box. Remember, we are your video allies. You've got this, we've got your back, and we can't wait to see what kind of content you create.